What is going on, All Terrain Nation? You guys know when there's breaking news, you know I'm going to be on top of it and try to get it to you guys as fast as I can. And, well, this is Bronco Day. The uh, dealers are finally starting to figure out what uh, the changes are going to be for the 2023 model year. And, you know, a lot of us thought, well, they'll do some little tweaks. You know, by it's two years in now. They've got to do a couple little tweaks. And they've done a couple really big tweaks. And uh, you're going to want to know about this. But first, if you have not yet, smash that like button for me, please. It means a lot to the channel. And uh, just by doing that, and leave a comment. And if you haven't yet, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We're not Bronco exclusive, but we do offer a lot of Bronco content. Because Kelly and I both love this little vehicle. And so it's kind of on our... Uh, our uh, our high beams of uh, checking out the news when it's there. So uh, if you like auto news, come join along. So Ford Bronco, that's right. So one of the big things that the Ford Bronco has kind of lacked in uh, since its debut, I mean, this is, it's a pretty big thing and it's probably the number one thing I hear people fuss about more than anything is the sound system in this thing. Just sounds bad. There's no way around it. I've spent a couple hundred dollars on new speakers. It still doesn't sound great. Well, has Ford remedied this problem? Maybe, because now standard across the board, they are doing a seven speaker sound system, including a subwoofer. I think Ford finally has figured out that, hey, yeah, we it, it's pretty weak sauce. And you know, it's a great vehicle with just a couple little dings about it. And I've mentioned many times that my Ford, or my Ford, my Jeep Gladiator sound system, I have a, a Willys edition, which is like a base kind of sport plus trim, that the sound system is night and day different. It's it's the one thing that if I had to uh, to pick just over sound system, I'm going Jeep all day long on it. Well, finally Ford has fixed that problem. And that is big news. I mean, that's big news because seriously, a lot of people, you know, I did a video on it as soon as I got our Bronco sound system's horrible um and it, it truly is so i'm very excited by that but there's also other news that's right and we're gonna probably all day long you'll see some news coming through here but the wild track you guys know i've kind of questioned the wild track why do we need a wild track and i know there's a bunch of you that ordered it and uh you know name alone it does sound cool but it, what were you getting? You're getting carpet, you're losing the sway bar from the Badlands, and there just wasn't enough to make that thing feel special. Well, last year Ford decided that, hey, let's do a suspension upgrade option with the Haas 3.0. So uh, it's not completely a Raptor suspension under it, but you are getting a little bit more beefcake stuff. Supposedly the tie rods are just a hair uh, better. You're getting maybe a better um, uh, uh, rack system in this thing, steering rack. But um, it was a pretty hefty uh, option. You had the option to get into that. Well, now Ford is making the Haas 3.0 standard for Wild Trek. That is right, standard. So uh, I do expect the price to stay, you know, increased. I, I think it was about a four thousand dollar increase. So this does kind of take the uh, the Wild Trek up in price a little bit as a standard, but you're getting everything except the sway disconnect bar. And as a guy who has a Badlands, I would probably like a little more flex in my suspension, maybe a little softer ride uh, if I'm hitting the dunes or whatever. So uh, finally, I have a reason to be jealous of the Wild Track guys, though. I still love my Badlands. Uh, but where are you guys at with this news? Are you excited about the sound system? Uh, I know I, for one, am. I'm gonna be a little bit jealous, and if there's a way I can somehow uh, get the sub, the factory sub into mine, I'm gonna do it because there's no bass at all in mine, and I've upgraded the speakers, and it's just bad. And with the Wild Track, where are you at with that? Uh, if you've been a reservation holder, and I know, I know reservation holders, you guys have been beating around a little bit, waiting and waiting and waiting. But remember, the early bird doesn't always get the best worm, right? So those that have been waiting, you've got now, you've got the Heritage that you can try to go for. You got the Heritage Limited. If you got the big dollars you can go for, you've got a Bronco Raptor that's coming, you know, that the order banks will be opening back up for. And you're getting all these upgrades of sound systems and stuff. So in the comments below, let me know what you think. So whether it be two wheel drive, four wheel drive, or any of this Ford Bronco breaking news that I like to bring you, this has been your All Terrain Nation. I'm your host, David Boyd, and we are out. Peace, everybody. Love y'all.